L is for the way you look at me O is for the only one I see V is very, very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore Hey you guys! So to start my breakfast off, I like to force myself to drink a glass of water because I can be pretty bad at drinking water so forcing a cup down my throat in the morning is a great way to start my day. So to make my oatmeal, it's super easy. Sometimes I just make it in the microwave, to be honest. <laughs> but I add a bunch of oats to a pot. Um, I usually add one to two cups, and I'll add a bunch of water until it rises to the top. And I'll let that cook with the oatmeal until the oatmeal absorbs all of the water. So in the meantime, I cut up a banana, you know, to like add some flavor, some texture to my oatmeal. Bananas are just amazing, and I recommend eating them every day. I know what you guys are thinking. My cutting skills are A1, Iron Chef material. So going back to our masterpiece, I like to stir it up a bit and then I add all the banana chunks in there. Mm-hmm. Let it get warmed up and all cooked in within. Then I add more liquid. I love soy milk. It is bae. It is my life choice. So give it that good, good stir. Okay, I don't know why these get so much hate, but I love raisins. So I'll add raisins at this time so they get cooked and get all plump and rehydrated and just, you know, beautiful. Now it's time to add sugar. So, so, so obsessed with coconut sugar. I add a lot of it, as you guys can tell. I'm not stingy with my sweetness. So once again, give that good, good stir. Okay, so at this time, you could definitely turn off the heat. It is steamy. Canela. Cinnamon in Spanish. <laughs> if anyone ever asks me if I take cocaine or do it, I don't know the proper term, I say I do. And I call it cinnamon. So give it that good, good stir. And here's a close-up of that good, good stir, you know, to see all the details. So next we add it to a bowl, unless you want to eat it out of the pot. It's okay, I don't judge. Okay, do you guys see that steam? Just like imagine the smell of this. Ugh, oh, dear. Loud. So because my oatmeal doesn't have enough sugar, <laughs> I like to get some dates and chop them up, you know, add some more texture, some more sweetness to my oatmeal. So I just chop these with the best of my ability and then put them to my oatmeal and give it that once again. Good, good stir. Okay, something I love to have on the side of my oatmeal is cinnamon raisin toast. So, so good. This bread is Ezekiel bread. Don't know what that means, but I think that means it's healthy. <laughs> so while I wait for it to get nice and toasty, I go ahead and make myself a cup of coffee. I use instant coffee because it's cheap and quick and I like coffee. <laughs> I'll usually add soy milk and sugar to it, but today I was just feeling black coffee, you know? Call me crazy, but it's just what I feel. So by this time, my toast is ready and it's ready to be slathered on by more calories and sugar. Yum. I just slather on some all-natural peanut butter to it. Mm -hmm. This is just peanuts and a little bit of salt and yas. Can we just look at that slow-mo? Okay, cinnamon raisin toast and peanut butter, best combo ever. So because we added peanut butter, we have to add jelly. I am so obsessed with this one that I got at Costco. So I'll just add a dollop of it and spread it all around. And now to finish off my oatmeal with more sugar, I'm gonna drizzle a bunch of agave on the top. So good, I love to drown it in agave. So the last thing I do is top it off with cinnamon and then we are done. It's only when I turn away, only when I'm near the end. Look around and see where I should be instead. You can think you got it all wrapped up. The threads unwind well, Nothing I can do Now it's too late to realize Got you on my mind 